Since I'm just randomly filming this, I'm not sure which day of the practice diary this is, but I'm here in my practice room and now I'm getting ready for a new piece, a Lalo Cello Concerto, for the next concert, which is in uh, Songnam Art Room. And I'm very excited to do this because um, Lalo has been um, one of my favorite cello concertos from my very young age. But this is my actual first time to play this with the orchestra, so I'm very looking forward for it. And um, since I just have like 10 days or so to prepare for this concert, and it's quite tight, right? Throughout the weekend, I've worked on the reading through the piece, reading through the notes, and from today, um, I'll make some kind of musical story within the notes and deep into the details. So to talk about my life in Korea, I've been spending a lot of time like going to some concerts and meeting friends, meeting people, which I miss so much um, because I've never got to meet them for like almost one year. So I thought I would be able to come back in the winter vacation, but you know, like the winter vacation is fairly short and due to the pandemic, I had to stay like um, 10 or like 12 days quarantined. So there was like literally no time I could spend time outside in Korea, like even if I came here. So I just decided to stay there and just practice throughout the vacation. <laughs> I was like very thrilled to get back, come back here. However, like I've spent so much lovely times with them and uh, of course like, you know, Korean foods are so delicious and I love them. So I had so much delicious foods and um, oh, I had a very interesting story to tell you. Um, a few days ago, yeah, like last week, I visited to the Korean musical, The Man Who Laughs. Like some of you might know already, but my favorite Korean musician is Hyoshin Park. And he was the main character of that musical. And since he like came back to the stage after a four year break, and I genuinely just um, watched his video for maybe thousand or more times, but I didn't have a chance to like see his performance on live. This was my first experience I've ever cried that much, like cried like crazy crazy throughout the performance and even after the stage i couldn't stop crying that was crazy like everything was so amazing and it really challenged myself to think how i could deliver those kind of emotions throughout my music and my stage because like i'm just the same musician as them and yeah that was um like one of my favorite moments in korea so I tied my hair and this is what I got for today's survival. couch and I'm here to start the details I'm also going to visit the dress shop today after practicing to try on my new dress 
And this dress might be very special for me because it's very like fancy new color and like usually when we choose a new dress, we go to the mall and like see a lot of dresses. But um, this time, we couldn't find that certain color we want and we just decided to make my own dress, which is very special. My mom has thought all those designs and how to make the synergy um, effect to deliver my music. I'm finally trying it on. So super excited. I completed my first Lalo Cello Concerto orchestra rehearsal this morning and I came back to my practice room and now I'm gonna get through the another rehearsal which is a recital program with a very special pianist um, and this concert would be on this Saturday which is right after my Lalo concert and every time you know like it's very important to actually physically practice but just mentally think about the music and study the music so i'm just gonna like look at the score and organize my musical plans oh my gosh i look so tired by the way this is my survival um item for today it's a matcha green tea latte what matcha bubble tea yeah matcha bubble tea so <laughs> I usually do this when I really don't have time and like don't have energy as well <laughs> I dip into the score and practice um, through my mind <laughs> especially for sonatas it's very important to know the piano part and communicate with that part but it's very hard to catch it if we just um, practice our part every time I prepare a new score um, which is like very clean and nothing so that I can make new musical ideas with the new piano. Let's see that. came into the dress room for today um, it's very white and cozy and this is my hair makeup I like these kind of like semi bangs I don't know how I call them but I very like it thank you there's an orchestra practice going on and I'll probably wait for my turn, um, practicing my own part and looking at the score. But I don't know how to control these volumes all the time.
aspects. Some new fancy color. And yeah, I'm so excited. Doesn't it fit very well with the Lalo concerto? No answer. <laughs>
received me so many love and friendly greetings from so many people and I'm beyond happy and grateful for these um, 한국 분들이 오셨으니까 한국말로 인사를 하면서 어, 영상을 마치도록 하겠습니다. 어, 오늘 너무 많은 분들께서 축하해 주시고 또 함께 공감해 주셔서 어, 너무너무 행복한 날이었던 것 같아요. 특히 제가 이번에 또 랄로 콘셀토를 처음 협연을 하는 자리였는데 그 순간에 함께 해주셔서 저에게도 정말 잊지 못할 날이 될것 같습니다. 어, 또 이렇게 너무 예쁘고 행위로운 서울로 함께 해주신 어, 네, 친구들 그리고 많은 팬분들 어, 너무너무 감사하다는 말씀 전하고 싶습니다. 네, 감사합니다.